In this video, I'll be answering the question you see on the screen here from paper 33 from the year 2024 Cambridge A-level exams. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, there should be a link to a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for a different paper, have a look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, so take advantage of YouTube, pause, rewind, whatever helps you out. Uh, if you find this or any of my videos useful, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, or even a share. In question one, we have eight to the power of three minus six x is equal to four times five to the power of minus two x. So the x is up in the power, so we have to deal with that. There is a few ways to do this question. Um, the first way you should look at this question is to see if there's an easy method. If there's an easy way to get the, all the bases to be the same. For example, 8 could be turned into 2 to the power of 3 or, or, or 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by what's already up there. 4 could be turned into 2 to the power of something. 5, not so easily. So there's no easy way to do it that way. Uh, the next way to do it is to play around with some of the rules about powers. That will work out fine in this case. Uh, but I'm going to do, I always found it easier to use logs. Um, so we're basically just going to take the log of both sides and uh, use some of the rules for logs to solve it. Now it doesn't really matter what base log you take. Um, I, I just use as standard the natural log. So let's take the natural log of both sides. Natural log of 8, uh, 3 minus 6x is equal to the natural log of all of this. Um, 4 multiplied by 5 minus 2x. This is the first bit we're going to have a, tr a little bit of trouble with. Um, actually, let's use two of, the, two of the methods we're going to use, two of the rules of logs. One of them is, it says the log of something to the power of something. We can take this um, power up here and multiply it. So we can turn this side into 3 minus 6x multiplied by the natural log of 8. That's one thing we can do. Another rule of logs says anytime you have the log of two things multiplying, like here, 4 is multiplying by this term, 5 to the power of minus 2x. We can change that into natural log of 4, plus, multiply turns into plus, divide turns into take away, uh, plus natural log of 5 minus 2x. And of course this can, uh, we can do the same method as here. So let's, uh, let's start cleaning up some of this. 3 times natural log 8, 3 natural log 8, minus 6x natural log 8 is equal to natural log 4, and this will turn into minus 2x. This multiplies out front um, natural log 5. Now we have a much easier t uh, time of it here. We, remember, we want to solve for x. Just move all the x's over one side. Let's move everything over this side and we'll take x out. So here, if we take x out of this, we get minus six natural log is at eight. And this guy, if we add this term to both sides, it will come over here as a plus two natural log five. And that'll equal, we'll move everything else over to the right. Natural log four says here. And this guy will move over and be minus three natural log eight. And then we just divide both sides by this. Remember, this is it's a complicated looking number, but it's just a number. And we just get x is equal natural log 4 minus 3 natural log 8 divided by minus 6 natural log 8 plus 2 natural log 5. You could start cleaning some of this up. Uh, remember, the, the logs could recombine because there's a minus, recombine here because there's a plus. But it'll never get too neat because uh, we have... Like these two logs will go together quite well, a four and an eight, but this five will never work too well. And really at the end of the day, we have, uh, we have calculators. Put all of this in on a calculator and we get uh, rounded to three decimal places, uh, five, uh, 0 0.524. And that's the answer. Uh, thank you for watching, have a great day.